talk about today is the hair part theory. And this is a little bit of an odd theory, but actually makes a lot of sense once you start to dig into it. And what it is is basically it says that when you part your hair on one side or the other, you're emphasizing that side at the expense of the other. And, you know, so if you part on the left, you're emphasizing left brain. If you part on the right, you're emphasizing right brain. And for men, it turns out, for women, it kind of works on both sides. For men, it turns out that if you part on the right side, it's kind of an unusual hair part. It's a little bit off-putting because you're emphasizing your artistic, your feminine, your softer, whatever words you want to put on that right, right side. And we don't quite know what to do with men like that. It, it makes them very atypical. And you can see this when you look at uh, public figures and actors and so forth, that very often that guy with the right hair part is very uh, atypical and, uh, dare I say, unusual. Unusual character traits. Um, anyway, so this is actually where the whole Tremere thing came in, because when I was a kid, and this is uh, about three years before I discovered the Tremere, I um, had some pictures taken and I said, why do pictures look weird? I look fine. And that's when I realized I was looking at myself in a mirror. And it turns out that in a mirror, basically, it, it changes your hair part. So basically, I was seeing a guy in the mirror that looks like I have a left part, you know, which again emphasizes left brain activity and the right is sort of hidden. But it turns out that that's not the way I look. I actually look this way. And it turns out when guys actually have a right hair part, it, 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 looks, it looks different. And I, I was a different kid. Okay, this is why I came up with this crazy theory. But when I was in looking in the mirror, I said, wow, maybe, maybe um, if I put my hair on the other side, it'll, it'll fix things. Because I really did have trouble in my social life. So basically, it's like, yeah, that looks weird. You know, I mean, having a hair part this way. But it turns out in real life, it actually looks normal, you know, because it's on the left side. So this was quite a big discovery. I totally changed my social life, like right away, based on this, uh, this change. And I know it sounds weird, but it actually worked. And, you know, um, what was interesting is that um, now when I looked at the mirror, I was having trouble with this person, you know, like because it was like this hidden alter ego. And I, I finally said, OK, well, maybe if I have no part at all. And so I kind of took the part away. First, it was middle, but then eventually no part. And it turns out this is much stronger because now I'm, I'm not having this dichotomy between me and the mirror image. But I also have, um, you know, my I'm not emphasizing one side at the expense of the other. And of course, in the true mirror, it looks similar. Right. And so this worked for me for a while until I really realized that it was in your eyes that things were still different, like the eyes here. You know, I don't know if you can see that. It's like, OK, there's my eyes backwards. OK, and, it, and, and it, here, here they are forwards. And there's just that certain specialness, which is the truth of the true mirror. But it really did start with the hair part theory a long time ago that, you know, if you part your hair uh, on, the, on the left, you're emphasizing left brain, you part it on the right, you're emphasizing right brain. And this, this is a very unusual hair part for, for, for men, turns out. But neutral is actually much better because, you know, we're both sides. We are left, we are right. Anyway, that's the hair part theory. Google it, it'll pop up with a bunch of links about it.